the video I never wanted to do how you use Excel in Flying Upload. This tool was primary built that you work with the graphical user interface here and I can promise you everything you can do in your Excel file you can basically also do here. You have your functions like the bulk copy, you have a replace text, you have a built-in one-click trademark check and uh, if we go to the Amazon window you have for example also a translate button. And if you have just worked with Excel and everything try this I think you will be amazed what this can do for you and we also have here a shortcut section what will make your workflow even faster but in this video it should be about the Excel how you get it how you fill it and how you import it into flying upload so the first step would be how do I get the Excel standard this is very simple and probably the easiest way is you go here to help you go here to download Excel files, then the browser will open and your Excel standard will download. This is then a zip, you can unzip and then do it on your desktop or wherever you want and then you can fill it. The second way is if you use the free version of Flying Upload, you will be on this side. Then you can scroll down to the bottom and you will have here this link, download Excel standard, click on it and it will download. And the third possibility is that you have already a purchased uh, package from Flying Upload and then you will have your own user account. You can simply log in by here on this icon on the top right. Then you will go to your dashboard, scroll down again to the bottom and here you have also this link, the Excel standard. And then it will download and now we go to the step how to fill the Excel file. So we have now here our downloaded zip file. You can make a right mouse button, click on it and extract it. Then you will have here this folder you can click on and then you will have here all the standards and you have to ask yourself, what do I need? The basic and basic multi-language is for the normal edit here. The multi-language, of course, if you work with German and English or France and English and so on. The KDP, spreadsheets are for the KDP tool of course if you use this one and the MBA and multi-language MBA if you open the MBA window for all the markets prices and so on. If you really want to take everything in the POD section I would suggest you take one of the MBA a standards because they also have lines to fill the normal edit. So we will now import data with one spreadsheet and it's always the same with all the other spreadsheets. So if this one works or how I do it here, it also works for all the others. So I open the MBA one and then the spreadsheet will always look like this. You will have here at least one example how the data must be filled. You have here all the yeah, single points that get imported. You can sort them like you want. The only thing you can't do is rename them because with the name, um, the tool knows what to import on yeah, what field. And another cool fact is this here, the image path, if the Excel file is in the same folder like the designs you import, you don't need the path. I will show you now uh, with two examples. So for example, if we have here a designs folder and this would be the path, then I simply when I go back, close this one here, and I want to use the MBA one, then I copy it, copy it here. So I have the designs and the Excel on the same folder. I can open it again. Then I delete these lines because are these just examples? And then I need two lines. I make it a bit faster here so we 
or the video is not too long. The first one would be adventure. So I can simply take the name and import it here or paste it here. So no path, just the image name and also the second one. Again, this just works when the Excel is in the same folder like the designs. Then I have now here my two PNGs and then I close it. So the data must now get imported. And how do I import now? It's also very simple. You have two possibilities. The first one would be you click here on import export and import the Excel file and select the Excel in this folder or the easier one. And this is um, very important if you use Mac. Mac often blocks one of these two possibilities. So for you, the import Excel or the second, the drag and drop will work one of these at least <laughs> or both. So uh, you have to check, but we do it now here. So we take the Excel, we fill it in here and then you see the data is imported. I imported this here in German. I just switch here so you can see it. You see this one here was language German. So it's imported in German. This one here was English. So it's imported here in English. And of course also here the uh, MBA was uh, filled. So you see I used the flying upload MBA one and with this one you can, yeah, fill your whole edit, not just for MBA, also for the yeah, normal edit. And yeah, this is how you can do it. So if here are two designs or 200 designs, it does not really matter. Keep care that the Excel file is in the same folder like the designs you import, then you don't have to enter the path you just need the image name don't forget the dot png if you have a png well and so on and another important thing is now when you have imported your data you don't need the excel anymore the data is there it will be there so because you have created here this xml file next to the image and in this file the data is stored so you don't need this one if you import this again it will create new files I show you. I empty the tool, I delete the Excel and I can take these two designs, put it in back and I still have the data here and you can work with it. This is very important. So import the Excel once and then the data is created. It's saved in this XML file in our standard and with that you can work and continue and use it always again and it's not bound to the Excel anymore. So you're free to go, you can move that, sort that, uh, rename that, whatever you want. Yeah, and this is how the Excel import goes for flying upload. I think it's very easy and I hope it's also easy for you. And if you have any questions or you yeah, want to know something else, then simply Put it in the comments um, if you'd like this video or if this video was a help for you then it would be cool if you subscribe or like or join our discord and yeah this was then the excel import and i see you in the next video